Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to re-overclock uh, our RTX 2060 graphics card, give you the full rundown on how to overclock your graphics card. Um, so I posted a video a couple days ago going over this exact same topic. Uh, the audio ended up being corrupted and I found a couple better software tools to actually show you guys um, exactly what it means to overclock, the performance benefits you're gonna see, average FPS increase, max FPS increases. Um, so to focus on the actual overclock itself, uh, you can download any software really. EVGA has their own overclocking software. I'm gonna use MSI Afterburner. You can use Cam even now has a built-in overclocker uh, for your GPU. So first what we're gonna do, just run base, out of the factory frequencies, um, voltage, power limit, all that. See exactly what kind of FPS we see with Call of Duty Warzone. So Call of Duty Warzone has been pretty demanding on my GPU. So I figured this would be a good game to use to benchmark. So going into MSI Afterburner a little bit more. First, I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm gonna use to test um, the benchmark, test the game itself. So if you go into settings, and you go into monitoring, you're actually gonna be able to determine what you wanna show on screen. So what I chose to show was GPU temps, GPU usage, and all you have to do to get it on screen is to use show in on-screen display, memory clock, uh, memory usage, uh, CPU clock, CPU usage, CPU temps, and then all my FPS stuff. So frame rate, frame rate min, max, average, and 1% low. And then in order to actually populate the on-screen display, I set some toggles. So T will toggle you on and off the on-screen display. One on my numpad, two on my numpad will be able to show and hide. And then to get your average max min FPS, you actually have to start recording and end recording to get you know, your time frame for what you wanna see. So I set those two plus and minus on my numpad. So in order to show you guys how that works, if I hit T on my keyboard, you now see the GPU utilization. So the GPU utilization is correct. The FPS is showing for my desktop because I'm not actually on the game. And then if I hit plus, we'll now start seeing minimax and average FPS and our 0.1% low. If I hit minus, it ends recording. And then if I hit minus again, wipes it out. So we're gonna use this to test Warzone. I'll first run it base clocks. So around 1365 base clock 1860 boost clock, 7,000 megahertz on the RAM, power limit to, to 100, and we'll go from here. So before I start the first game, just to show you guys what graphics options I am running in Call of Duty, we're running at 1440p um, with our Dell S2719 DGF monitor, uh, 144 hertz, one millisecond response, whatever the screen is capable of, and then pretty much normal medium settings in terms of texture, shadows, all that. So here is the settings, filmic, anti-aliasing, uh, SMMA, T2X. So this is these are all our settings. Um, so I'll get into a game, load it up, and show you guys what average FPS we see with out of the factory uh, settings. So just to give you guys a quick overview before we start the game, as you can see, GPU temps around 75, uh, 1845 megahertz. Uh, CPU sitting at 45 degrees C, 34% uh, utilization, four and a half gigahertz on 4.5, 4.7 gigahertz on the CPU. And then FPS right now sitting at 84 FPS. Get to work. 
So now to actually overclock our card, um, I already set up a profile, but just to show you guys sort of how to do it uh, in MSI Afterburner, uh, for the most part, you're gonna wanna raise your core voltage up to 100% and power limit up to 100% as well. So also raise your temp limit up. And then core clock, you're gonna wanna go slowly, uh, maybe jump it by 50 um, megahertz to begin with, and then go probably 15 megahertz increments after that. I've already sort of clocked it in at around 105 is what I can get, probably a little bit more. This is more of a conservative overclock. Um, so I can set this one to 105 and then set our memory clock up 900 megahertz. So that should be pretty doable on most cards. Uh, of course, depending on what card you have, you'll be able to find plenty of resources out there as to what your card can handle. So for my 2060, I'm gonna go with 105 on the core clock and plus 900 on the memory clock. So here we go guys, before we get into the game, sitting at similar GPU temp, 77 degrees. Uh, now we're at 1935 megahertz, so almost 100 megahertz Fight offset over, there. You're and going then, to the war zone. Uh, 101 FPS right now.
Here are the results of our overclock. So you do see slightly higher temps on the GPU, but we're still sitting at over, we're sitting at our 105 megahertz uh, boost clock increase with our overclock. Uh, we did see our 900 megahertz increase on our memory. And then in terms of FPS. So you can see we did have a dip in FPS, but that was when we were entering the Gulag. So I would sort of discount that, but we did see an average FPS increase of five FPS. And our FPS max went up to one 25 from 115, so at 10 uh, FPS increase there, and there are 0.1% lows, pretty much similar, but our, you can definitely see the big jump in our FPS average, probably like a 7.5% increase there. Um, so that was pretty good. Uh, so if you guys have the time to you know quickly go into MSI Afterburner or any other software, do a quick overclock on your graphics card, you will see uh, very quick uh, and very easy FPS increases in game. Um, so if you're in a game where you're already hitting higher FPS, but you wanna let's say hit 144 FPS, you might be able to reach that with a quick overclock on your GPU. So if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.